decided to start the vlog at a totally different place than I normally do. Ooh, let me fix my necklaces. They're like a mess. Um, I just went to Target, as you guys could see in the intro there. And now I'm going to head home. It is Saturday. Um, it's Saturday afternoon. So I've already done quite a bit today. I went to Orange Theory and I went and got a pedicure. You guys, I also got my nails done and I changed my nails. Look at that. I decided to cut them. I picked up a few things for to restock the studio with snacks and drinks and stuff. And these things look these look so good. Heavenly Hunks mini oatmeal chocolate chip. It's 150 calories for this little pack and it just looks so good. I like to put things in the studio that I could easily like track and and eat as well if I, you know, am in need of a snack when I'm there. Ooh, there. This is what they look like. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oatmeal chocolate chip for the win. I'm very good. It tastes like I was hoping it to taste like. You know what I mean by that? Sorry, I'm backing out of this spot. So, yeah, I'm going to take you with a weekend in my life. A little bit. A little bit of weekend action. Um, right now, I'm going to head home. Mike and I are going to go grab our cheat meal in a little bit, which is going to be sandwiches, but we're going to try, we're going to go to Ike, a place called Ike's, um, that we heard is pretty good. So we're going to do that. And then tomorrow, it's a beautiful weekend, beautiful weekend in California. It's like in the seventies. Um, I think I can pretty much take tomorrow off. I think I've gotten quite a bit of work done today this early morning and that allows me to kind of like have the day off and so Mike and I are going to head to a farmer's market tomorrow to get our fruits and veggies for the week and just like walk around have lunch and enjoy the nice beautiful weather so yeah it's going to be a little fun little weekend in my life so thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another vlog I appreciate you guys so much my channel is growing and I just owe it all to you guys because you're subscribing and I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. And yeah, let's just have ourselves a little weekend vlog. Alright you guys, I am back home. I changed. I'm going to show you a couple of the things I picked up at Target. But before I show you that, I have got to show you one of the most favorite deliveries I have received recently. And this is from a company called Miss Blue. So I don't know if you guys remember, but a, a few vlogs back I shared my wedding ring and how it had gotten repaired because a bunch of the diamonds had fallen out of it and it was just a hot mess. And my jeweler reprimanded me big time and he's like, Janine, you cannot wear this ring every day. It's just too delicate. You're always gonna continue to lose diamonds. I wear it to the gym, I beat the thing up. So I went on a hunt to find a ring that I could wear daily that is nice but not too nice and something that is nice enough to where it's not going to tarnish it's still going to look beautiful and i'm still going to look very married i went on a hunt for a, an eternity band specifically so i don't know if the way the algorithm works or whatever but this company actually reached out to me and it's a, a jewelry company called miss blue and look it's just like blue boxes everybody loves a blue box and so i picked a couple of pieces from Miss Blue. And when I tell you guys that I'm blown away and I'm so, so excited, I mean, I just feel like I got this really super fine, expensive piece of jewelry. I'm gonna pop it up here on the screen, you know, like in its box, um, because I actually have it on right now, but it comes in a really nice box and it sparkles like you would not believe. So here it is. 
Hopefully you guys can see how beautiful that is. It is a nine carat eternity band. The stone is moissanite. So it is a, I believe that's a semi-precious stone. And um, it's beautiful. There's lots of different options for it. Um, I'm, I'm honestly blown away. I'm blown away by the quality, how beautiful it is. It's real, but it's not diamonds. So it wasn't, you know, an exorbitant amount of money, but it is something that um, it's a little more practical to wear every day. It's also easy to get off and on, whereas my wedding ring is a little difficult to get off and on because I was able to size up half size on this because it's an eternity band. So if it twists around, it's fine because it's the same on all sides. Whereas my wedding ring, I have to have a size four and a half so that it doesn't twist, but it's a little hard to get over my knuckle. So it's not very practical to get off and on. But anyways, they have such beautiful jewelry on this site that I had a really hard time just finally deciding. I went with the nine carat oval cut moissanite eternity band. And that's what this is. And you're going to be seeing it on me in every vlog because I'm basically going to wear it all the time. And then when I want to wear my ring and my wedding band, I'll just put it right on top and still wear that. It's just, it's so beautiful. I'm in love and I love it with my new nails, to be honest. But um, I also got another piece from them. And you know what? I was thinking they are actually a really great site to shop for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming up and this is a great site where you can get some really nice pieces that are affordable but good quality real jewelry um but i also got these beauties which i'm going to put on for you guys in a second but these are two carat round moissanite stud earrings so i'm going to put them on and you guys can see them on there they are on i just love them i think they are so pretty so sparkly so yeah i'm really excited about this purchase and i definitely will be buying more pieces for them i think they are a great alternative to real diamonds i believe here is their website and i was checking it out to see what i am going to purchase next i love this custom name necklace i definitely think i will be purchasing some of these as gifts especially for my daughter i think this would be perfect for her there are so many cute things. This is where I had originally gone to look for all of the Eternity Bands. Obviously, I landed on that 9 carat oval, and I love it. But there's so many other options that are really cute, stackable bands as well. I'm definitely going to be purchasing some more pieces. I love the quality. I love the, the different options you have and the affordability of the Moissanite. It looks just as beautiful, if not better, than a diamond. They're colorless and flawless and I can't wait. Now their necklace collection I'm obsessed with. I love their necklaces. I love this particular chain link one with the circle on there where you can add charms. It's specifically for charms and I think this would be so cute to like add a few little baby charms on. Definitely going to be picking up some pieces and keeping tabs on this site for when I am in need of some good gifts, especially with Mother's Day coming up. Grandmas, sisters, daughters, all the people can be satisfied with this site. Use my code Janine15 for a discount. Okay, now let's get into my little, it's almost like a personal hygiene haul from Target. I got these wipes, Sarah V Hydrating Makeup removing wipes because you guys some of these late studio days i come home mike's already in bed and i've been going to bed with my makeup on it's i know i know i know it's not good but i need to have wipes so i love the micellar wipes from trader joe's i actually just bought a fresh pack of those as well um but i was at target and i thought i would try these it says they don't strip the barrier that like most wipes do. It says cleanses and removes makeup, even waterproof mascara without disrupting the protective skin barrier. So that sounded good. Um, I better remove all my boxes. Okay, next up, a lot of you have asked me what my self tan routine is. And 
when I self tan and right now I am white as a ghost but when I do I use loving tan platinum it is the darkest one they have that's what I like to do when I self tan it's a very olive color it's beautiful so this is what I use and obviously you have to really make sure you exfoliate beforehand shave moisturize your dry areas and then you go ahead and apply the mousse and then I use a brush to do my hands I have kind of a a routine that I use. I've used all kinds of different tanning products to be honest but Loving Tan is one of my favorites for sure. Um, and then since I'm going to be doing a, um, that I got an exfoliating shave gel from Flamingo. So I will exfoliate my whole body with like a body scrub but then I also want to make sure I get a really close shave and and then you don't want to actually tan right after you shower and shave and exfoliate. You want to wait a few hours because your pores are going to be open from the shower and you don't want little those little brown dots all over your legs where um, the tan, self tan goes in. So you do want to exfoliate and shave but you don't want to tan right after so just keep that in mind. Then I also saw this which I thought was cool. I recently tried this body wash and I only use it I use a regular body wash everywhere else. I use the um, Sol de Janeiro body wash. But in the privates, you shouldn't be using scented things or things like that. They have to be pH balanced or specific for that area. And so I've been using the body wash and I really like it. It's very mild, um, no irritation, no issues, and I like it. So I saw from the same company that they had like this literal like a deodorant stick that you can apply. It says whole body deodorant for pits, privates, and beyond. And it's literally like a deodorant stick. This would be great to like keep in your gym bag, you know, if you're going to work out and like go to work after or something. But I'll try it and let you guys know what I think. Um, but so far, I like the other product. I had some feedback. Some people say they don't like the smell of it. To me, the smell is extremely mild. And I use my regular body wash still, so I still get the smell of my body wash like on my body. Um, let me smell this one. I decided on this one to get soft powder. Yeah, it's just very mild, almost like baby powder. It's perfect. That's what you want. You know, nothing like super scented or anything. It, it says 72 hour odor control. Wow. All right, you guys, that is it for my little Target haul. And um, yeah, well, we're going to be getting ready here to go get our sandwiches. Let me do a little outfit check. It's skims again. These are like my cotton ribbed, just like house pants. I will go to the, I will leave the house in these, but not like just to go get our sandwiches. It's not really, it's more house loungy pajama pants. I got my skims bralette which is the best thing ever i've been using this since they came out it's the best it's very minimizing very comfortable i use i get a size um medium and it fits me great and in the in their regular bras i am a 34 double d just for sizing reference and then this is my little skims hoodie in the cherry blossom and yeah all right, we are headed to, oh, you know what's crazy? My nose looks big today and because I didn't contour it and I noticed the difference. That's crazy. So contouring does work. I was like, why did my nose look so big? That's why contouring works. Um, all right, we are headed to Ike's in downtown San Jose to get sandwiches. Dutch brunch. Yes, a sandwich on Dutch brunch. Sounds amazing. Can't wait to see what they're all about. And I am making protein ice cream later. I didn't have any more sugar-free vanilla pudding mix, so I used cookies and cream pudding mix in there because you have to have pudding mix. It helps the consistency. So it'll be interesting to see how it comes out with vanilla ice cream protein powder. And then I have cookie dough at home. I'm gonna pop it into the little confection oven and bake it and put fresh warm baked cookies on top of the ice cream. It's gonna be good.
Okay, look at that. Oops. Let's see. Ooh, let's see. Mike and I got the same sandwich. He copied me. <laughs> These chips. Salt and vinegar is always the go-to. Very, very good. Mm. Update. We are chilling. We are chilling. Mm. He's always, always right in the nook. We call this the nook. And then this is the old man. Old man Rocco. Old man Rocco sleeping peacefully. And snoring. He's the one that's blind. He's going to be 12 in December. Mr. Escobar is also sleeping. Oh, my baby. Guess what kind of couch rotting? I guess what kind of couch rotting, huh? Cutie Google. He's growling. He growls every time Phoebe gets close. Oops. So Watching Netflix. Oh, look who woke up a little bit. Look who woke up a little bit. Phoebe? No. She always bothers him when he's asleep. He gets mad. She always tries to sneak over there. And yes, he always has to sleep. like his little uh, mimi's saying, pillow she has infiltrated my space first i walk into my bathroom this and she was our, in there this is our makeup desk ah. your hair looks cute she has infiltrated my space guys First, I walk into my bathroom and she's in my bathroom. <laughs> well, because I told you I was doing it. Hmm. Oh. oh, sorry. You're not bored of this guy, this annoying guy? <laughs> No, mom, I don't want to learn about financial. No, I don't. Financial freedom? And don't, this is mine, by the way. Don't be stealing my loving tan. Okay. Boobush! Come on. Not yet, you guys. Soon. It is now Sunday morning and I just got ready and we are going <laughs> to head to the farmer's market and I was just telling Alyssa I was going to the farmer's market and she laughed at me and said, well, is that why you're dressed like a farmer? And I didn't even think about that when I got dressed, but I am wearing overalls. So I've got these overalls on. They are from Free People, and I've got a Skims, like, little tube top on. These are old Gucci flip-flops. And that is my little Farmer John outfit. I'm ready for the farm. Rocky! you got to scratch him to get him to walk forward. Because he can't see. Come on, come on. Come on, it's a beautiful day. There you go, good boy. This is the aftermath from Alyssa, who had a little party here last night. She is quite hungover. Got a lot of leftovers. Ooh, they didn't even. I need to open these. These are so good. 
Looks like they played cards. Anyways, dusted off that bottle of tequila. Empty bottle of pizza. I ended up going, oops, it's too bright. I ended up going to bed pretty early last night because she had a bunch of people over and I just wanted to kind of like let them do their thing. So I went into the bedroom and just watched TV and kept the littles back there with me. Um, so it wouldn't be too rowdy out here. And I did hear them come home at like two in the morning and I guess they brought back some some people at the house and all played cards and stuff like that. I did. I heard them come home, but I fell right back asleep. So didn't bother me any at all. And yeah, I will be leaving that mess for her to clean. Although she got up right now and she has a hangover. So of course I immediately have those empathy hangover pains. We actually just talked about this. My daughter was on an um, episode 498 of my podcast that went up yesterday and we just talked about um, how that happens to me. But anyway, she's got a really bad hangover, so they probably won't be cleaning this up till a little later this afternoon, but that's okay because I'm gonna be out of the house. We're gonna go have lunch, get some fruits and veggies for the week at a farmer's market, and just have ourselves a little day. It's a beautiful day outside, so I wanna kind of enjoy it. We haven't had, you know, a spring weekend, like a spring weather weekend in California in a while. It's been cold and dreary a lot of times on the weekend, so gonna enjoy the day and I'll take you guys along with quick I wanted to see if you guys notice anything about my lip because I get a lip flip and so it's definitely kicked in and it just like pops up like the cupid's bow of my lip and it just makes it look a little more filled but it's not filler it's Botox and my Botox has kind of kicked it's kind of kicked in this is actually, if this is all it, it will probably kick in a little bit more, but if this is all it kicks in, I'm okay with it. It's got a little movement still, but I'm actually okay with that. And yeah, like I was telling you guys, I definitely, now that I've like my makeup done, I definitely am liking this la these lashes better. So it's Gemini is wh where it's at. All right, we are about ready to head out. Um, I do want to, so yesterday, I told you when I got the, when I turned the camera on, I felt like my nose looked big. I contoured my nose today. Do you see, do you see the difference or am I going crazy? I feel like now it looks smaller. So I definitely need to contour my nose more often. Just got to make sure. Sometimes I get in the car though. And I look and I'm like, oop, didn't blend my contour very good. So you always got to do another pass through in the car. Um, but yeah, I think this is, this is good. So anyways, does it look smaller or is it me? Am I wasting my time? I'm also going to ask Mike about my, my lip to see if he notices the difference. I actually noticed the difference with the way I talk too. The movement of my mouth is different when the, when the lip flip kicks in. But we'll ask him and see what he thinks. Guys don't notice those kind of things though. They really don't. All right, you guys, see ya at the farmer's market. Well, actually, no, we'll see when Mike gets in here. So, how's that work? All right, you guys, Mr. E is in the car. We are headed to the farmer's market. Yep. Do you think like look like a farmer? Alyssa laughed at me. The overalls? But they're comfy the though. Like yeah, why not? I'm not bringing it back. They're from free people, so they can't. Free people is like, you're Not trying to bring the 80s style back? 80s, 90s? That was the style, remember that? Overalls? Dudes had them. I don't know, but my Botox kind of kicked in. It's almost there. Can hmm. you tell? Can you tell that I I do a, I use Botox to flip my lip? Oh, is that what you did too? Yeah, so they put Botox in there and it gives you, it makes it look like you've put filler in your lips uh, without filler. Can you tell a difference? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Good, you gotta be honest. No, I can't. Yeah, I didn't think you would. Ooh, hot rod, hot hot rod. I didn't today. think you would. Hot of
All right, we walked through the farmer's market, picked up a few things. I'll show you guys what we got a little no. bit, but now. stop to the fruit stand because I want some mango and cucumber. A beautiful day calls for mango. He's not even getting one. Yeah. But he, he orders it for me. What a gentleman. Going to Farmers come down to this shopping center a lot and they sell fruit in the parking lot um, for a really good price. We're gonna get strawberries there. The strawberries at the farmer's market looked absolutely incredible, but if I ate those strawberries, we would literally be homeless because then the rate in which we consume strawberries, we would be eating hundreds of dollars in strawberries every single day. One little tiny carton, the small little carton, was seven dollars. That looks freaking delicious. Oh, look at that. Look at that, you guys. Oh my. That looks good, thank you. You're welcome. I know you're gonna steal some bites. Yeah, I have some mango, not pepino. Pino? Is that what pepino. you said? Pepino is cucumber? Yeah, pepino. I did not know that. I learned something pepino. new. You did? Really? You didn't know that? Pepino. pepino. I did pepino. not she know. She said it good too. Pepino. How do you guys say pepino. it? Pepino. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, actually. Look at this thing, you guys. This is fucking a thing of beauty. I'm the problem. It's me. Yep. Yeah. Todo bien? Sí. Okay. He's Dr. Vader. Beautiful. Beautiful. Watsonville. Okay, gracias. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ooh, look at those Don't beauties. Smash your thing here. You got it? Yeah, look at those Massive. beauties. Gotta support the farmers. Dude, that'd be like 40, 50 bucks. This was fifty dollars at the farmers market. Same place. Sorry, but look at that. We What you doing? Oh well, you know when I got my sweet tooth and I'm I'm craving candy, but can't have candy, I gotta have strawberries instead with Splenda. It's a good little hack Yum. right here. Yeah. Looks like candy. That's so good, my mom used to. You know what you can do too with these? If you want, like freeze them. You yeah, them but you know what candy. you could also sprinkle in there? What? Sugar-free uh, Jello. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. That's another hack. Yeah, sugar-free Jello. Okay, let's um. Let's see, here, try one. Let's see, these are the strawberries we already had, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. I, I wonder if these are sweet though. Wash one, we can see. See if we did a good. Uh, see if we did a good pick. I am going to do a little haul of the farmers market. I think what I'm most excited about was the hummus guy. So um, this is a garlic and herb hummus. And look at the pita. Ooh, okay, let's try. This is the strawberries we just got. Mm. Not super sweet, but mm -hmm. I splendid. That's all right. I know my hacking. I'll get a bowl and I mm, splendid. Not too bad. Not not as sweet as I'd like, but that's okay. We can splend them. Yep. Okay. Um yeah, garlic and herb pita chips. And they just look so D delicious I had to have some so this is a nice little snack um, I did get some garlic and herb almonds and I tried them already and they're very very good Mike got some tortillas some blue corn artisan tortillas yeah. it says place in a sealed bag after opening reheat on a hot griddle for 25 seconds each side So you know, babe. And we got some oranges. These are, and we got to 
test the oranges and they were really good. We need to put them in the, we need to put some in the fridge. Legit. One more thing. We got snickerdoodle almond butter. Oh, this looks good. I'm gonna have to uh, try it, but let me see if it's super separated. Ooh, can you give me a spoon? Let's see if it blends nicely. Oh yeah, it's... This is the kind of stuff I love. One thing I was disappointed that they did not have was a granola vendor. There is a granola vendor, a granola vendor at the Pleasanton Farmers Market that is so good that we might just have to go to that farmers market just just for that. I used to get it. Oh, when I, I had remember this, that. Remember that granola? Oh, it it's delicious. to die for. Like the best granola I've ever had. So we might in Pleasanton's like 20 minutes, 25 minutes from here. It's not that we'll bad. No, we should we should try try that one. And then we could always eat there too. They have lots of good restaurants over there. Yeah, they do. It's true. Cool old town. Look at Campbell. Yeah, I was hoping that since it's like Campbell, they would have like a lot of the same vendors, but they didn't they didn't have the This need definitely needs to be. I have a I have a trick for you. Don't need a lot. Watch this. Watch this. Oh my god. Hold up. Watch this. You wanna make an apple taste good? You gonna give me a piece of apple yeah. on it to try it? Yeah. Wow, this is good. I would get it again. And the macros on this, you guys, 130 for 28 grams. That's pretty good. Yeah, the other one's 160. Yeah. One of them was 200, I was like, oh. Too much. Let's sleep. You're doing too much. All right. Try this is snickerdoodle almond butter, so I think it would actually be really good with the apple. Let's see. Wow. Here, try. Is it hit? Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I already have ideas for this. Mm-hmm. See? You mm -hmm. could put this in a um mm -hmm. a warm tortilla with like sliced bananas and toast up say. the tortilla. I already, I already know you're going. That sounds delicious. Sprinkle of cinnamon that. in there. Well, you don't need to, it has so much cinnamon in it. Oh, that's right, it does, huh? Mmm. This is like candy. I just thought of this. The Mike's over here creating his, crafting his own snacks. I'm just, you got me thinking. Apple with cinnamon, and then you're gonna do a drizzle of honey? Yeah, it's gonna do a drizzle. Just, I'm just curious. Very light, very light, there you go. Very light drizzle. Polly. Mmm. It's good? Mmm. No, it's good. Yeah. I had yogurt. Mm. I didn't even show the vlog because they're tired of seeing the same old shit that I eat all the time. <laughs> Alright, let's try. You know, I don't really care to eat oranges like that. I like to peel them because I don't like the slimy outside. You know what I mean? You like to peel them. Uh-huh. I like to peel them. I don't like to eat them like that. It's not the same. No. Uh, look at Paulo's over here like, hey, where's mine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you don't get that. Not this. Ooh, this is good. You don't get those. You already had strawberries earlier. I might just do ultra protein. Yeah, after I guesstimated my calories from, you know, from lunch. Was, you know, I was a lot and I ate a lot yesterday too. So. Yeah, I guesstimated mine for lunch so I knew I didn't have much left. And then I have a little, I have enough for my treat. For my treat. And that's about it. That's all she wrote. She wrote City Sports and History. City Sports and I go there after or? Oh, you want to test it? No, we just have to sit here alone. Oh.